Would you like to run LLMs on your laptop on tiny devices like mobile phones and watches? If so, you will need to quantize your LLMs. Now, Llama.cpp is an open source library written in C and C++. It allows us to quantize a given model and run LLMs without GPUs. Now, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to quantize a fine-tuned LLM on a MacBook and run inference on the same MacBook. I'm going to quantize the fine-tuned Gemma 2 billion parameter model that we fine-tuned in one of my previous videos. But you can use the same steps for quantizing any of the LLMs of your choice. So without further ado, let's get started. So in my previous video on fine-tuning, we fine-tuned a Gemma 2 billion parameter model. So I'm going to push that model to Hugging Face Hub. We can do it by doing trainer.model.push to hub and I'm going to give a name that is gemma to be ftv1 so that model once we execute the push should be available on the hugging face hub I'm not going to execute this command because I've already pushed that and that model is available on the hugging face hub only the parameters of the LoRa are actually pushed to the Hugging Face Hub and not the entire model. If you look at the files that are available in the hub after I pushed it, you could see only the adapter configuration is there and on the parameters of the adapter module are only updated and they're only just 14 MB. So now that we have pushed the model to the hub, now we can move on to quantizing the model. So for quantizing the model, we are going to be using the Llama CPP library. As we can see, the main goal of Llama CPP is to enable LLM inference with minimal setup and state-of-the-art performance on a wide variety of hardware, including locally and in the cloud. It's written in C and C++ without using any Python, though there's a little bit of Python. I'll go through it when we actually use Python. The beauty of it is that it allows us to do a variety of quantization, including 1.5 2-bit, 4-bit, 8-bit, 6-bit uh, integer quantizations. And it also allows us to use whatever the hardware we have. For example, if you have CPU with GPU, then you could leverage a hybrid inference using both the hardwares. And if you're also a user who switches between platforms or you have different platforms, you're up for a treat because it is supported across all these platforms, which is Mac, Linux, Windows, uh, Docker, and FreeBSD. So let's start installing the Llama CPP locally to get started with the quantization. So hats off to this guy, Georgi Gerganau, who's a creator of Llama CPP. You could see the number of followers on GitHub, which is 12,000. And on top of Llama CPP, he has also created GGML. And if you visit his website, you could see that he's created quite a few projects in C++, including Whisper CPP, Llama CPP, and there are quite a few projects there. You could go through and find out if something is useful for you out of these. So let's start with cloning the repository. After cloning the repository and CD into the llama.cpp, I'm just going to run make to install it. So that completes the installation of llama cpp. It's that simple, guys. You just have to run the make command and then you're done. So before proceeding with the quantization itself, I would like to quickly walk through the structure of my project. So we've got the generative AI course, which is the main repository uh, for what we are doing. I have a folder for a base model. So if we want to check out base model from Hugging Face Hub, we could check it out there. Then I've got the Llama CPP inside the generative AI course. That's the one that we actually ran the make command and installed. I also have a folder for a PEF model. The PEF model is the fine tune model that we fine tuned in my previous tutorial. And I've got a folder for a merge model. The merge model is created by merging this PEF model along with the base model. So it's basically how LoRa works. So we have the base model and then we have the adaptive weights of the fine tune model. We have the merge the two and then that stop that creates the, the merge model. And lastly, I have the folder for the quantized model, of course, has the uh, GGUF files. And then we have this notebook, of course, which is to quantize the model. So let's get started with this notebook. Let's start with the preliminaries, which is to access the Hugging Face ecosystem. So we need to log in uh, with our access token. So I've already done that. Then we need to import the snapshot download in order to download the entire repository. So the basic difference between Hugging Face Hub download and snapshot download 
is that in case of Hugging Face download, the main function is to download specific files from the hub. So if you want any particular file from within a repository, then you will have to use the Hugging Face hub download. But we want the entire repository to be downloaded which is the uh, fine-tuned model repository. So I'm going to be using the snapshot download. So in case of snapshot download, downloads an entire repository at a given version. So that's what we exactly want. I'm going to download the uh, Gemma 2 billion fine-tuned v1 that we fine-tuned and pushed to the Hugging Face Hub repository in my previous tutorial. I'm going to give the model ID as the same the uh, repository that we created for that. The local directory is the PEFT model directory which I just uh, showed you. So if we just do the uh, snapshot download it's going to download all the files from the repository and, I'm and it's going to pull all those files to our local directory. So once we have done that we're going to try straight away converting the LoRa weights to the the ggef format and find out what happens really so this shouldn't work and that's what i tried it's a greedy way but uh, i just tried to convert the uh, the model to ggef format and i provided the peft model and asked it to output the gemma fp16 ggef file but it turns out it couldn't find out the config.json and that's the main reason we'll have to merge the base model along with the PEF model, which we are going to look into now. So the steps that we need to follow is to load the base Gemma 2 model. And then we need to load the fine tune model using the PEF library. This is important. We shouldn't be loading using the transformers library, but we should be loading using the PEF library. And then we need to use the merge command to merge the base model along with the PEF model. And finally, we'll have to save the merge model into a local directory, which I've called merge model. So we, we are using the auto model for causal LM uh, from fine tune function from that. And we're gonna pull the Gemma 2B model, of course, uh, for the base model. And we're gonna use the, the same other parameters that we set while we are actually fine tuning. So once we got the base model, then the next step is to load the uh, fine tune model using the uh, pef model from pre-trained function so once we pass the base model and the repository of the uh, fine tune model we're going to get the uh, pef model and we're going to use the merge and unload function in order to merge both the weights so once we have merged that we simply uh, save the uh, the model into the uh, merge model directory because the model has to work with the tokenizer, we also need to save the tokenizer. So we can save the same tokenizer that we use for the base model. So we need to load the tokenizer of the uh, Gemma 2B, which is the base model. And we need to actually save the tokenizer in the same directory, which is the merge model directory. So once we have the merge model, we need to invoke the convert hf to ggef python file under llama.cpp. We need to pass the directory where, where, where the merge model is stored. And the output type is, of course, uh, floating point 16. And the output file, we're going to name it as fp16 ft for the uh, fine tune model. And the extension, of course, is ggef. So once we run that, then the quantization starts. And actually, this is first to convert the given weights into floating point 16. So once that conversion happens, then we actually need to quantize to different sizes like 8-bit or 4-bit or even 2-bit or whatever. So once we have the fp16.ggef file, we can play around with it to quantize to different sizes. We need to use the llama.cpp slash quantize command. And we need to pass as input the fp16.ggef file that we just created. And we need to provide an output file name. So I've given the output file name as ftq4km. Q stands for quantization and 4 stands for a 4-bit quantization. And k4 stands for k-bit and m stands for a medium. So I'll walk you through the different uh, options here. So for now, let's just do a 4-bit quantization using k-means. And I'm just going to pass the command q4km in order to tell it to actually do a 4-bit quantization. We can see that the quantization has started. And we eventually have the quantized file. We now should be able to query this file and we should be able to get a response. So now that we have the quantized model, we should be able to query it with some prompt and then get a response. So in order to do that, we need to invoke the main and we need to pass the model 
which is the quantized model. In this case, it's FTQ8KMGGUF and the number of output tokens that we would want it to produce. And finally, the prompt, which is uh, can be provided using a hyphen P. And as we have been asking the model, what should I do on a trip to Europe? Let's ask the same question and find out what the model comes up with. So it says that there are so many options for a trip to Europe that it can be overwhelming. If you have a theme in mind, you should definitely do some research and it goes on and on. And you can see the speed of execution just on a CPU on a MacBook laptop. It's not even executing on a GPU or it's not even executing on a desktop. So one of the mistakes I did when I was actually uh, quantizing this model was directly query this FP16 uh, fine tune model. And because it's uh, quite heavy and quite big, so I ended up crashing the system. So please do not do anything of that sort. Make sure on your laptop, you're actually querying the 8-bit uh, or the 4-bit model based on the memory that you've got on your laptop. So that brings us to the end of the quantization using Llama CPP. There are quite a few stuff that we can do with a quantized model. For example, we can benchmark to find out how well it compares to a different model that was quantized in a different way. For example, we can compare a 8-bit quantized model with a 4-bit quantized model both for inference and also for uh, speed. We can integrate the quantized LLM with a rack system so that the model is much more context aware and performs way better. So in the upcoming videos, we will have a look at those examples. But for now, I'm signing off. I hope that video was useful. Thank you very much and I will see you in my next. Take care.